That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a program of adventure with Richard Widmark as your host. Here's a preview. Did you believe Mariana escaped? No one escapes El Condor's prison walls. Sign your confession. No. Your friend is dead, trying to escape. Is that what you wish? Dead? The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Join hands with people everywhere. Each of us can do our same in Jasper's Day for children. This year, people of all nations are joining hands to improve the lives of the world's needy children. Through care, you can provide the families of these children with the means to grow their own food, to build medical facilities, safer water systems, and schools. Tomorrow's world is in our hands. Help make it a better place for all the children. Send your check or money order to CARE, Crusade for Children Overseas, Box 576, New York 10016. This is Richard Widmark. When Ruth Rodriguez decided to backpack across South America with her fellow graduate student, Keith Hagen, it was the first time she'd ever disobeyed her parents. But had Ruth known of the nightmare which awaited her in one oppressed South American country, she would never have left Southern California. The customs guard warned us not to sightsee in the barrio. We won't stay long, Ruth. I just want a few snapshots of these tin roof huts to contrast with the shots I took at the luxury hotels downtown. Oh, so many poor children on this muddy street. All those little bellies swollen with hunger. This isn't exactly a compassionate country, you know. Keith, there's a man lying in that alley. Looks like somebody really beat him up badly. He needs a doctor. The children, their parents, everyone's disappeared on the street. Maybe we shouldn't get involved. What's the matter with you? I'm going for help. You try to keep his face out of the mud. Keith ran. He ran past rows of dobe huts, through streets of wet mud up to his ankles. He exited the burial onto a cobblestone street and within five minutes had found a policeman. At first, Keith thought he had forgotten the way back to Ruth and the severely beaten man lying in the alley. The rows of dobe huts and the blank stares of the burial peasants kept recurring with nightmarish regularity. After 30 minutes of fruitless search, the policeman grew disgusted and left Keith standing alone in the muddy burial street. Ruth had disappeared. Ruth! Ruth! And that's only the beginning of our story. adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week. Brought to you in Elliot Lewis production of the Sears Radio Theater. Our story, Country of Fear by Bruce Martin. Our stars, Joan McCall and Jack Crucian. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. Our family is growing pretty big these days. We've got family members in nine different states, and Sears sure comes in handy. We can select gifts at the Sears near us, then bring them along on visit to our daughter in Seattle and my brother in Miami. And if what we bought isn't just right for them, they go to the Sears near them and exchange it. That's Sears. In their stores or through the catalog, Sears is where America shops. Sears, 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 where America shops. 
Sears National Automotive Sale. Now, save 36 to $76 on a set of four Sears steel-belted radio tires. That's great savings on the most popular radial in Sears history. And the Sears heavy-duty shock can help save you from some of the jolts, jars, and jerks. Help save you some money, too. On sale now, only $5.99 each. Save 14% on America's best-selling shock. Installation available at both Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop. Sears Best Whisper Glide Travis Rods offer you more features than any other line of Travis Rods anywhere. Whisper Glide. So if you're decorating or redecorating, choose these. Whisper Glide. Their design features remarkably smooth drawing. And Sears' own non-tilt carriers help keep your draperies straight. Best yet, there's a size and a style of Whisper Glide Travis Rods to fit just about every decorating idea. Whisper Glide. Our best at most larger Sears retail stores. American graduate student Ruth Rodriguez has disappeared in an oppressed South American country. Keith Hagen, Ruth's boyfriend and traveling companion, returns daily to the American consulate, hoping to learn Ruth's whereabouts from the American consul, Mr. George Edmund. I appreciate your dilemma more than you realize, Keith. But Ruth's been missing eight days, Mr. Edmund. The police keep demonstrating a lot of concerned inaction, and you keep advising patience. It's driving me up a wall. Well, I'm hoping Mr. Rhodes here can help. And who is Mr. Rhodes? I am a correspondent for Unified Wire Services. How much do you and Ruth know about the political climate in this country? Ruth and I met at UCLA. She's a geography major, and mine's poli sci, and my field of interest is South American governments. So I know that behind the lush scenery and the colorful Indian blankets, General Salazar runs this poor country with an iron fist. Then you also know how close Salazar's opposition, the guerrieros, are to toppling his regime, huh? What does that have to do with Ruth? Three weeks from now, the U.S. Congress debates General Salazar's $40 million aid request. Enough guns and riot control equipment to prop up his shaky regime another two or three years. I have a suspicion General Salazar mistakenly believes the confession of an American college student on espionage charges will secure him that military aid. Salazar is holding Ruth? Not Salazar directly, but uh, his secret police. Where? We've heard a rumor from a reliable source inside El Condor prison. The locals have dubbed El Condor the House of Laughter. On a still night, the screams of the political prisoners carry outside the prison gates. Oh, dear God. We've got to get Ruth out of there. I told you we have only a rumor. Without verification, the ambassador cannot apply pressure. Mr. Rhodes, you could print Ruth's story. World opinion would free her. Print a rumor? The secret police would deny it and move her to a camp in the jungle. At least inside El Condor, we can keep a surreptitious eye on Ruth. It's my fault, Ruth's in this mess. I dragged her into the barrio. How can I help? Well, I, I have a proposal. But should you accept, this consulate and the American ambassador would deny... Naturally. It. If I'm caught. If you and Mr. Rhodes are caught, we go together. Inside El Condor? Yeah. To try to find Ruth. I'm proposing this drastic shot in the dark because Ruth's life is at stake. How do we get Ruth out? We don't. We're going in for the evidence we need to free her through Mr. Edlin's diplomatic channels. Yesterday, Keith, you described to me Ruth's gold heart locket. Sure. The locket has Ruth's initials engraved on it. If the secret police haven't taken it from her, the locket will be all the evidence we need. And if they have taken Ruth's locket? Well, that's the chance I'm asking you to take. How do we get inside El Condor? <laughs> At General Salazar's invitation. Salazar is making a big effort to polish his tarnished image in the States. A local newspaper editor, Luis Correa, was granted permission to invite a group of American reporters to inspect El Condor tomorrow. Senor Correa saw to it that your name appears on the list. When I'm inside, how do I find Ruth? We have the general location of Ruth's cell and the diagram of the security checkpoints inside the political cell block. The lack of diligent security inside El Condor is as notorious as the saddest who staff it. 
What happens if Mr. Rhodes and I are caught? With the congressional vote on Salazar's aid request coming up, we expect at the very worst that the two of you would be expelled from the country. I have one more question. Mr. Rhodes, who do you work for? I'm not CIA, if that's what you mean. But you are risking your neck for a girl you never met. Well, I don't deny I smell a story. And I'd like your promise on an exclusive. But I also know that Ruth will spend many years in El Condor prison if she signs a false confession. Too many years for me to live with if I don't do my damnedest to help. Colonel Mendez speaking. Si, General Salazar. I am certain that Capitan Salcedo believes that Ruth Rodriguez's file was supplied to us by the CIA. See, si, see, si, Capitan Salcedo understands that no visible signs of duress are permitted. Well, she is in Salcedo's office now. What is your name? You may call me Alacran. Your confession is on the table before you sign it. Alacran means scorpion. It isn't a name. I have a right to contact the American consulate. Guerrero terrorists have no right. Oh, oh those lights. They're blinded. Soon oh. you will beg for the opportunity to confess. Open your eyes. Please, I don't understand. What am I accused of? You delivered a roll of film compromising many sensitive government military installations to a guerrero terrorist in the barrio. Fortunately, the secret police arrested you. That's a lie. Please, the lights, they burn my eyes. Under my personal interrogation, the man you met in the barrio admitted that you, senorita, are also a guerrero terrorist. Sign your confession. I found a bleeding man beaten half senseless in a muddy alley. Everything's going red in front of my eyes. Think on your blindness as I read. Father, Carlos Rodriguez, born Mexico City, 1932. Mother, Guadalupe Rodriguez, born Nogales, Mexico. You face the light. Mother, born Nogales, Mexico, 1935. Parents met at a church social in Los Angeles, 1952. Married one year later. How do you know those things about my parents? A Norte Americano government agency supplied us with your file. You're saying my government knows I'm your prisoner? Who do you think gave us your file? (sighs) Enough of the lights for now. My eyes burn something awful. Your eyes will cool as your sight returns. (sighs) Our great democratic nations are locked in a common struggle against the guerrilleros. Sign your confession. That's a ludicrous suggestion. Do you really believe your government would not sacrifice one Mexican-American in the name of national security? From your file. You enrolled University of California at Los Angeles, fall of 1977. California driver's license number N619547, social security number 11346425. You can drop the charade now. I know you're lying. What lie? How do you know? I just know. You will. You must be lying. No lies. Sign your confession or I will be forced to place you in the cell of the beautiful ones. Who are the beautiful ones? My children. Women prisoners. Do you wish to join them? If I sign a false confession, I'm condemning myself. Sign your confession and you will see your family again in a few months. (laughs) It is your only hope of freedom. I can't. Guard. See, Alecran. Take her to the cell of the beautiful ones. Super plush. Wrap yourself in the luxury of Sears. Super plush. Bath towel. Just one touch will tell you they're super thick and luxurious. With more combed cotton terry loops per square inch than any other towel we sell. Each towel weighs over a pound. They're Sears' largest terry bath towels. 
super thick and absorbent. No wonder they're called Super Plus. Available now in brilliant solids or patterns. This Terry outfit I'm wearing from Sears has all the energy of summer. But what was once just for running is now charged up fashion for your whole sporty day. Terry tanks, v-necks, racing, jogging, and boxer shorts in a range of washable colors and styles. In Mrs. and Junior sizes, nine to twelve dollars for the tops, just six to seven dollars for the shorts. Look like a pro at having fun in Terry. Shoo! Sure. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Yes. No, maybe so. It's sunny fun summer for girls on the go. Summer starts for your daughter with Easy Care halters, tanks, tees, and jogger shorts in colorful teams to switch around all summer. And each Sunny Bunch piece has a sunny saying and character screen print. Tops, shorts, and play sets that pack a pretty punch when it comes to packing sports wear, the choice is Sunny Bunch. Jump into summer with Sunny Bunch fun wear for your girls in sizes 7 to 14. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. Fear rushes through the blood of American graduate student Ruth Rodriguez in the cell of the beautiful ones, fellow prisoners maimed under torture. Ruth's interrogator is the sadistic Captain Salcedo, whom she knows only by his netherworld nickname of Alacran the Scorpion. Captain Salcedo demands Ruth sign a false confession, admitting she is a member of the terrorist Guerrieros. American consul George Edmund and Ruth's boyfriend, Keith Hagen, have set in motion a desperate gamble to help her. But the question is, will help arrive in time? Twenty or thirty poor women crowded in his cell. Two, two. I, for the Oh. Good. The God brings Mariana now. Mariana is also a university student. You two should be friends. This local scotch is the best I have to offer, Coronel Mendes. I am more concerned with your poor performance today as Alacran than the poor quality of your scotch, Capitan Salcedo. The prisoner maintains a stubborn innocence. The Americano newspaper reporters inspect the prison this afternoon. I was not informed. A mere oversight, Capitan. One day's delay will not harm your interrogation. Let the North Americana spend her last night of sleep in the cell of the beautiful ones. She, it will color her dreams. <laughs> you uh, gave a pitiful presentation of the CIA file. Colonel, I do not question the file the CIA supplied us, but it did not affect the prisoner as was predicted. Does General Salazar truly believe Ruth Rodriguez's confession will bring us to 40 million in American military aid? Unquestionably. Our Washington lobbyists predict narrow defeat when the American Congress votes in three weeks. However, when we release the Ruth Rodriguez confession a few days before the American Congress votes, the swelling publicity shall tip the vote in our favor. Tomorrow I use fear, paralyzing fear, to make Ruth Rodriguez sign her confession. I drink to tomorrow then. No fear, querida, no fear. Please, Mariana, I want to be alone. I, you so amica. See, si, Mariana, you are my friend. Alacran said we should be friends. I spit on Alacran's name. Who are you? Alacran took my name. I have no name now. Or my family might suffer at the hands of Alacran. I I know you both mean well. I prefer to be alone. I am not brave. Yeah, I know my boyfriend Keith must be looking for me. But I fear Alacran will make me sign his confession before Keith can find me. What's the guard doing? 
Tell Tom Pitch Black he's killing us in. Alexan hides his beautiful ones behind the wooden door. Hide us from what? What doesn't Alakram want us to see? We have heard that there will be visitors to El Condor today, members of the press. Alakram does not want us to see them. And more truthfully, he does not want them to see us. Sears Radio Theater will continue after this message from your local station. When George had his heart attack, the doctor told me that we had to reduce the animal fat in his diet. His cholesterol count was too high. What did you do? George gets only lean meats, and I always cut off extra fat before cooking. He gets low-fat dairy products, grains and cereals, fish, poultry with no skin, fresh fruits and vegetables, and you know what? What? Our food bill is lower than before George had his heart attack. But doesn't he miss all of them? What's to miss? He eats better than ever before and has more variety in his meals, too. And you know what? What? I do, too. What? Enjoy! The American Heart Association wants you to eat foods that not only taste good, but are healthy for your heart. It's not as complicated as you might think. Ask your Heart Association for their free booklet on heart-healthy diets. The American Heart Association. We're fighting for your life. Who are those people in the uniforms over there? Oh, that's the Salvation Army. Oh, sure. I've heard of the Salvation Army before. Everybody knows them. Yeah, they're noted for helping people. You know, my father once told me that the Salvation Army operated service units during World War II for our armed forces. He never forgot them for that. They were really helpful. I wonder if they help people in other ways. I'm sure they do. Let's ask them. Excuse me, sir. What are some of the services available at the Salvation Army? Well, throughout America, the Salvation Army operates daycare centers, adult rehabilitation centers for alcoholics, summer camps for kids, even senior citizen clubs and programs. Oh, the list goes on and on. Well, thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate it. The pleasure's mine. Have a nice day. Gee, I had no idea the Salvation Army provided all those services for people. The Salvation Army cares about you. If you need help with a problem or can help, call your local Salvation Army today. Held in communicado in a South American prison cell, American graduate student Ruth Rodriguez contemplates her desperate future. How long can her resolve not to sign a false confession last against physical deprivation and psychological rape? Welcome to El Condor Prison. I am Coronel Mendez. It is my privilege to escort you gentlemen of the American press through our vast facility. Of course, it is impossible to view all of El Condor cell blocks in one day. So, I will answer any questions that you may have. Señor Correa, uh, where do you suggest I begin? I suggest we begin with the felons division. Violent crime is a severe problem in North America. A wise choice. Dangerous men make interesting reading. Tell me, who is the young man beside you? This is my colleague, Keith Hagen, Colonel. I'm Jack Rhodes, Unified Wire Services. Senor Rhodes is known for his persuasive journalism. Oh, yes, Senor Rhodes. You must provide an accurate picture of our penal system for your uh, American readers. Colonel... On that, you have my word. So you see, gentlemen, each cell block has three checkpoints and only one exit. Therefore, the need is small for our guards to patrol the corridors. And now, are there any questions? Excuse me, Coronel. We are running behind the schedule. The kitchen and shower facilities are next. That's Luis's cue key. We're near the political cell block. Yeah. Good luck with Mendez. Colonel, uh, I've got a hypothetical question for you. Do you believe that Guerrero is capable of running a prison this size? Well, this facility in 
get a year of hands with thee, Dante's Inferno. Senor, over here, he said. Time is short. What do you want? Give my message to Senor Correa, and I will tell you where Alacran keeps the American gold. You know? You have seen her? Si. Tell Senor Correa, Erto says Renaldo is alive. I swear I tell him. Now, where is the American girl? That last corridor. I heard the guard shut the wooden door. It is the only cell with a wooden door. Ruth? Keith? Oh, thank God you've come. Ruth, Ruth, your locket, your heart locket, did they take it from you? No. Slip the locket under the door. We need evidence. Now, do it. They, they want me to sign a confession. They keep saying I'm a guerrero terrorist. I know. Hurry. I'm trying. That the locker won't fit under the door. I think I hear a guard. Keith, the women in this cell have all been tortured. Ruth, listen. The American consul says don't sign anything. Your life depends on it. Please. There's a guard. I have to go. Ruth, we'll get you out. <laughs> Querido, your boyfriend just told you he needs your locket. Mariana will take your locket to him. How? Tomorrow, we, the beautiful ones, help Mariana to escape. Si. Sí. Mariana, I escape. I don't think I understand what you're saying. Yesterday. In the exercise yard, we heard that General Salazar plans to release all non-political prisoners who have a red patch sewn over the heart of their prison shirts. The General does this to celebrate his new Independence Day. I have seen no one in this cell with a red patch on their shirt. Oh, my sister wears a red patch. Tomorrow in the exercise yard, Mariana will trade shirts with my sister. My sister will then take Mariana's place among the beautiful ones. And Mariana walks out of the prison gates in your sister's place? Si, sí, querida. Oh, Alacron will kill her if he catches her. Si, sí, Mariana has no family, so Alacron cannot threaten her with reprisals. Maybe when Mariana brings your locket to your boyfriend, he will help us fight Alacron too. Our dream is to rid our country of all General Salazar's alecran. Ay, como si. Mariana, here is my locket. When you are free in the city streets, go to the Mari Sol Hotel, room number six. Wait there for my boyfriend, Keith Hagen. Keith will know what to do. <laughs> Print the story. It's been less than 48 hours since you spoke to Ruth inside El Condor Prison. One day, 18 hours, 43 minutes. When Ruth's name sees print in the major American newspapers, we'll be stealing General Salazar's thunder. He'll realize Ruth's confession won't win him any congressional votes on his foreign aid request. Jack, if our sole concern was blocking Salazar's $40 million in military hardware, I'd be panting for you to print the story. But it's like Keith said... Ruth's life is at stake. Today is the 11th day Ruth's been inside that hellhole. We have to do something. The ambassador feels General Salazar might convict Ruth to a 20-year espionage charge if we tweak him in the pocketbook. He'd do it out of spite. World opinion wouldn't stand for it. Without proof that Ruth was falsely imprisoned, world opinion will not be on our side. Oh, he might be right, Keith. Damn. A minute ago, I was so sure I knew the right answer. Think it over. Go back to your hotel room, Keith. Lie down and think over the ramifications of printing Ruth's story. Guess I do owe Ruth a clear decision. I'll be in Luis Correa's office at the Press Nacional all day. You can reach me there when you've made your decision. Oh, yes. 
Come in, come in. What do you want? I have news for you. Your friend, the dull-witted girl... Mariana? Yes, exactly, Mariana. She is dead. What? Mariana, your friend, she is dead. How? I mean, what... Did you believe Mariana escaped? No one escapes El Condor's prison walls. Sign your confession. No. Your friend is dead, trying to escape. Is that what you wish? Death? Sign your confession. Mariana. Alacran. Capitán Salcedo. Why was I not informed of this Mariana's escape yesterday? Oh, with respect, Coronel Mendez, I only learned of the prisoner's escape this morning. I reported Mariana's escape to the secret police. But not to me. I conduct my own investigation, Capitan. The information I have just extracted from the beautiful ones leads me to believe that this Mariana escaped with a locket belonging to Ruth Rodriguez. Do you realize the general's entire campaign to sway American congressional votes may be destroyed? The secret police must find this Mariana before she can bring Ruth Rodriguez's locket to the American consulate. I have already ordered the secret police to cordon off the American consulate. The American ambassador knows that we are holding Rose Rodriguez, but without proof, he would not dare to make a public accusation. We must announce the North Americana's confession before Mariana can bring the Americanos the locket. I promise you, Coronel Mendez, very soon she will break and sign her confession. You will have it very soon. See, who is it? Who is there? Senorita, did you not hear me? I asked who you are. Uh, Senor, por favor. Ruth. Ruth. Is something the matter, Senorita? Uh, Senor Ruth. May I get you a glass of water? Senor Hagen, por favor. Hey, that's Ruth's locket you're holding. You come from Ruth. Si, senor. Somebody answered that phone. Gracias. Ah, uh, what's all the commotion about, Luis? The general's newspaper censors resigned. <laughs> Did you spend the day in bed, Jack? General Salazar released 300 El Condor inmates yesterday in honor of his new Independence Day. Hey, that's right. I've been so snowed under with the Ruth Rodriguez disappearance, I forgot about the general's announcement. Have you had any news of Senorita Rodriguez? My colleague Keith Hagen asked me to give you an important message from Erto. Erto was arrested six months ago. He worked for me. Uh, let's step inside your office, Luis. Fewer ears. <laughs> You mean I have other police spies working in my newsroom besides uh, Hector the copy boy? (laughs) Imagine that. Venga. Mr. Rhodes, we got it. We got the evidence we need to free room. Uh, 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 Slow down, Keith. Who told you I was in Senor Correa's office? That guy in the blue shirt out there. The one talking on the phone. Is it Hector, Jack? Yeah. C- come in, Mariana. Yeah. I'll watch the window. What for? That guy, Hector, you spoke to is Senor Correa's resident police, Tuli. The secret police are probably on their way now. I know, por favor, senor. Senor Correa, this is Mariana. She's brought Ruth's locket. Oh. Well, that's certainly the evidence we need. Our American consul will be tickled to get that. But the secret police know Mariana escaped. We saw them patrolling the consulate streets. They're waiting for her to show up at the consulate. That's why I brought Mariana here. Then I beg you, leave now. Keith, 
Please take Mariana out by the back stairway. My car's in the alley. Hector's standing out front, obviously waiting for Salazar's goons to show up. When the police arrive, I will stall them as long as I can. Ay, muchas gracias, señor Correa. Ruth and I thank you, too. we better hurry, Mariana. Hey. Uh, secret police just pulled up. Thanks, Luis. I'll keep in touch. Sears National Automotive Sale. Now, save 36 to $76 on a set of four Sears steel belted radial tires. That's great savings on the most popular radial in Sears history. And the Sears heavy duty shock can help save you from some of the jolts, jars, and jerks. Help save you some money, too. On sale now, only $5.99 each. Save 14% on America's best selling shock. Installation available at both Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop. Oh, here I go again. It's time to rent one of those steam-type carpet cleaners. Why rent? Now Sears puts power in a carpet cleaner you can own yourself. The power spray from Sears for easy home carpet cleaning. Power spray sprays hot water into your carpet, then sucks up the dirty water. You can see the dirt you get out. Dirt you didn't even know was there. The Power Spray Carpet Cleaner, a convenient carpet cleaner you can own yourself. Available at most Sears retail stores. Kenmore. Solid as Sears. This is my first night camping with my family of five. Now I'm really glad I packed my Sears family-style tent. It's Sears' best tent, tested by Sir Edmund Hillary, the first man to conquer Mount Everest. This tent stands six feet nine inches in the center and has a sewn-in ten by fourteen foot floor. It sleeps eight, plenty of room for my family, and even the dog. We like the windows that can be zipped shut from the inside, and this large front canopy. Sears' best family-style tent is built to be lived in, and if it's good enough for Hillary, it's good enough for my family. Family at most larger Sears retail stores. Richard Widmark again. And here's the concluding act of Country of Fear. Another cup, Jack? Oh, please. You sure you wouldn't like to try a cup, Keith? I'm not a coffee drinker. <laughs> Excellent coffee is one of the few rewards Foreign Service offers in this country. How much coffee does someone like Mariana get to drink? Mariana's in a safe house in the city. I wish Ruth was with her instead of inside El Condor prison. What do they have to gain by delaying Ruth's release? Well, I'm speculating, but I imagine the secret police are evaluating reaction to their scapegoat story. The American papers were flown in hours ago with that story. Salazar's people are evaluating the reaction in Washington. With 40 million in U.S. military aid at stake, General Salazar is hedging his bets. Captain Salcedo makes a very convenient scapegoat for Ruth's imprisonment. We won't be able to contradict their story if Salcedo toes Salazar's line. That doesn't explain the delay behind Ruth's promised release this afternoon. If Colonel Mendes somehow knew Ruth had proof Captain Salcedo didn't act alone, he couldn't afford to release her. General Salazar wouldn't permit any accidents. An accident to Ruth would destroy his military aid request. But it is a possibility, isn't it, Mr. Edlund? Ruth's life is still very much in danger. I don't believe so. But you can't be certain. Well, no. We get Ruth out now. Colonel Mendez won't be prepared. Just the reason we go now. They're expecting us at 7 tonight. We show up at the prison five hours earlier. Mendes will bark at the thought of you babysitting Ruth on his doorstep. I'd like to come along. After all, Keith did promise me an exclusive on Ruth's story. Yeah, let him bark. I'll remind him of the democratic image he told me yesterday he hopes to maintain. He should be delighted to see a member of the press in our entourage. Colonel Mendes, Capitan Salcedo, superior officer. I believe you know Capitan Salcedo as Alacran. So the scorpion does have a real name. I wake up in a soft bed and a clean room with food prepared for me. What new trick is this, Colonel? No trick. You have been in this prison 13 days, 11 in Capitan Salcedo's hands, and two days in my care. Your alacran, uh, Capitan Salcedo, is to be court-martialed. I don't believe you. If I've been saved, as you say, 
Then why isn't someone from the American consulate here? Tonight, the American consul and your young man, Senor Hagen, will escort you out of the prison. You're lying. Oh, I understand your doubt. You have been through a harrowing ordeal. Please. <laughs> here, over there, read the American newspapers on the table. How do I know your people didn't print up these New York papers? Senorita Rodriguez, I understand your distrust. Read, examine the facts. Check the dates. Mariana's alive. Oh, the dull-witted girl? The one who uh, smuggled your locket out of prison? <laughs> See? She's alive. Captain Salcedo told me she was dead. Oh, there's nothing more than Captain Salcedo's cruel joke. This isn't what happened. They haven't printed the truth. Praise God that the Capitan Salcedo superior officers believe Mariana's story. Otherwise, you might still be in that madman's hands. Salcedo didn't act alone. Apparently independent of the country's internal security forces, it says. That line is what we Americans call a crock, Colonel Mendez. I assure you, you are wrong. The Capitan freely admits that he acted upon his own authority. I told Captain Salcedo I knew he was lying to me. And I know that you are lying to me now. Please, explain. I do not understand your words. The file Salcedo showed me. The one he said the CIA supplied to him to convince me I had to sign his false confession. I know where the information in that file came from. Out of my college transcripts. Oh, excuse my smile, but that is a little fantastic. To believe Salcedo hired someone in California to break into my university's records office on his own? Yes. But I'd bet your general hired a professional thief to photocopy my transcripts. Especially with $40 million in foreign aid on the line. That's the figure in the newspapers here. It's really a little too fantastic. Oh, the files account for the days I was held in isolation before my interrogation began. You had to wait for my transcripts to be stolen. I, I sincerely hope to leave the CIA's name out of this affair. Our staunch friend has been the victim of much adverse publicity recently. The CIA persuaded Capitan Salcedo to pressure a confession from you. They believe that your confession would shock the liberal elements in your Congress into approving our $40 million military aid request. You're lying through your teeth. A passage we have spared the necessity of the CIA providing any clandestine contribution to us. Colonel, four years ago, I inadvertently entered the wrong social security number on my college application. The last digit was off. It was the number Captain Salcedo read to me. I even tried to correct it at the time. But you know how bureaucracies lend themselves to error. Unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> you would think that if the CIA decided I was important enough to warrant a top-secret file... They'd at least get my social security number straight. No American government agency was involved at all. You realize that political blackmail is wielded by the Davids as well as the Goliaths, with no room for a citizen's personal satisfaction. Personal satisfaction? Think back on the days when you were Capitan Salcedo's prisoner. Salcedo deserves to die. Oh, you hate him enough to wish his death? Yes. I could order Capitan Salcedo brought into this room. I'd scratch his eyes out. My general empowered me to offer you a more reasonable compensation. One with greater personal satisfaction. Capitan Salcedo's execution. In exchange for what? Your silence. Would there be witnesses? There are no witnesses to his suicide. Only you and I and Capitan Salcedo will be in the room. Thing for him. Excuse me, Coronel Mendez. The American consul has arrived unexpectedly. He demands to speak with you. Ah, oh, that is excellent. Al Capitan Salcedo, join me and the Norte Americana Rodriguez here in this room. Leave us but five minutes, no longer. And then escort the American consul into the room. See, si, Coronel. 
The American consul must enter the room immediately after you hear the gunshot. The gunshot? Will the coronel be safe? <laughs> I will be ecstatic. Follow your orders and you will help the Norte Americana hand back to me a lost political card. A card the American consul shall help me play. <laughs> Please be seated at the table with Señorita Rodriguez, Capitán Salcedo. Coronel, I understood I was to have no further contact with the prisoner. An execution is now necessary. I need a witness to confirm my report to the general. I will be happy to serve as your witness. Hand me your pistol. Since my pistol is to be used in the execution, should not my hand pull the trigger? Hand the pistol to me. See, si, Coronel. Coronel Mendes, what are you doing? I am handing your pistol to the prisoner. Oh. Sit down in your chair, Capitan. The young lady is pointing a loaded gun at your head. But why? Call it reasonable compensation. Your colonel and I made a bargain. I keep quiet about the nightmare you put me through in exchange for your execution here in this room. But I am a loyal officer. I obeyed my orders. I am a son in the General's army. The General would never permit such an incident. General Salazar has already accepted Senorita Rodriguez a bargain. Please proceed, Senorita. I volunteered to take the blame for the prisoner's arrest to spare the general embarrassment. I would gladly die fighting the guerrilleros, but to die at the Norte Americana's hands is to die like a dog. Now you strip the poor man of his dignity. Shoot him. Feel the pistol pressed against your temple? You're sweating, Malacran. I, I, I only obeyed the coroner's orders. I closed my eyes. And I relived the sleepless horrors of your prison. You're not fully trigger. Coronel Mendes ordered me to do these things. Kill him. What are you doing? I am placing the gun on the table, Colonel. As for you, Captain Salcedo, remember that your colonel's treachery was sanctioned by General Salazar himself. Yes, you have your life. I pray you use it to tell your brother officers of your ordeal in this country of fear. Just as I intend to tell the world. Why? Why did you not kill him? To beat you at your own game, my dear Colonel. In this way, Captain Salcedo will help defeat all of General Salazar's alacrons. Men like yourself, Colonel Mendes. A moment, please, Senor Step aside, soldier. It would appear your friends have arrived. Get out of the way. We're going through that door. What's going on in here? Oh, Ruth. We're a little early, Colonel Mendez. I am aware of that, Senor Consul. Dear God, look what they've done to you. No, Keith. It's not what they've done to me. It's what I've done to them. Looks like it's going to be a hot one today with 90% humidity. It's the kind of weather that makes you want to drop into Sears for the most popular blend underwear. Why? Because it's a blend of 65% polyester for strength and 35% comb cotton for softness and absorbency. With a two-way stretch for the comfortably snug fit men appreciate, especially in the warm, active months ahead. So drop in and discover Sanfinet t-shirts, undershirts, and briefs. Almost summer, and there I was, still in my winter sports shirts, feeling the heat. So I went to Sears and discovered a summer sports shirt collection. Some interlock knits caught my eye with full button fronts in solids and patterns, and they're short-sleeved. This is a style I can feel comfortable in. Better yet, the interlock knits of polyester are easy care. My wife likes that. Now I'm looking forward to those lazy summer days ahead, wearing my new crisp-looking shirts from Sears. 
For those hot summer days ahead, Sears is serving a refreshment of cool savings. Now through May 26, you'll save $100 on a Sears Better Series Central Air Conditioning System with an electronic control that regulates the condenser fan to run at the unit's quietest proper speed for the outdoor temperatures. So, enjoy a cool $100 savings now. Discover Sears Central Air Conditioning in Good Series, Better Series, and Sears Best Series. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. Country of Fear was written by Bruce Martin, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your host was Richard Widmark. Our stars were Joan McCall and Jack Crucian. Featured in the cast were Brian Farrell, Vic Perrin, Virginia Gregg, Lillian Bias, Howard Culver, Marvin Miller, and Tom Holland. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. Associate Director of Sears Radio Theater is Ken McManus. Sound effects were created by Bud Tollefson. Joanne Thompson is production supervisor. And the recording engineers are Joe Wachter and Hal McDonald. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI. <laughs> See it. it touches each and every one of us without exception. Young or old, rich or poor, black or white. It's something we all have in common. Tension. When we are unable to cope with tension, it can turn against us. It can make us fail at our jobs, fail our families, and most important, fail ourselves. Learning to cope with tension is a never-ending process. One that begins at birth and continues to the end of life. It's one of the keys to happiness and good mental health in our time. This is Cliff Robertson. There are few of us who wouldn't welcome solid advice from a good friend on how to deal more effectively with our tensions. That friend can be your mental health association. Contact them for a copy of their pamphlet, How to Deal with Your Tensions. up and down your spine. There's a creeping sensation at the back of your neck. You're listening to CBS Radio Mystery Theater. I'm E.G. Marshall, your host for these hour-long dramas of suspense, adventure, and the macabre. Heard seven times a week on most of these stations. Here's a sample of what we mean. This very room reeks of dejection, despondency, undusted cobweb furnishings, black drapes covering the window... Here, let me throw them back and at least get some moonlight, if not sunlight, into this place. In the doorway. What is it? Uh, Madeline! Am I that horrifying to look upon, dear brother? Listen here for CBS Radio Mystery Theater seven times a week on most of these CBS Radio Network stations. Next Monday's Sears Radio Theater will be a story of the West with Lorne Green as your host. Let's listen. So, now what are you going to do about it? Well, it's not what I'm going to do about it. It's what they're going to do. They obviously have to print a retraction. They can't go around accusing innocent people of being retired gunslingers. So be sure and tune in next Monday to the Sears Radio Theater. <laughs>